The vlog this week is going to be slightly different and I still don't know whether it'll go out, whether I'm brave enough to actually share. But this week I planned to be at the NEC. In fact, I was at the NEC, but sadly I'm going to show you why it's so important to discuss perimenopause, mental health, and in this case, a motorhome show. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, I'm Jo, and I'm the menopausal motorhomer. I'm also from a small town in Yorkshire called Pontefract, which means I like to look after the pennies. And of course, with the current cost of living crisis that we've got going on, I'm gonna take you around the Caravan and Motorhome Show here at the NEC and see what you can get for your money. Which one will be the cheapest? Very friendly welcome. So a little bit more about me. In my lifetime, I've always been a camper. I've had five caravans. I've had two tents, one air tent. I've had one air awning. And now I'm living the life and loving my motorhome. I'm 18 months in and I have absolutely no regrets. You want to know what 21,000 will buy you a caravan? A two bunk, two berth. No, this is a four berth, surely. Yeah, four berth. 21,638. Show deals include an antenna and a tracker. So here at 69,000 is the cheapest motorhome. It's conversion and it's on the Naus and it will set you back at 70, just shy of 70,000. This has got an optional extra of a panorama roof light for 2,000. So if you want to have a quick look inside, here we've got the bed up the back. It's quite compact, but I do like the fact that you'd be able to fit it into one space. I forgot to show you the bathroom. So there's a quick look. Ooh. So my current van is an Eldis, I will go down and see Eldis, it's actually an Evolution Special which is from Brown Hills, um, but I have in the past owned a coachman and my last caravan that I had was a Bailey Phoenix and I loved it, I absolutely loved it, but it got to the point where I was towing a caravan with a big car just for me. And already this morning I've spoken to three people with camper vans who are upgrading and looking for a motorhome. A bit with more space, but one of the key selling points has been able to fit into one parking space. Don't forget, if you're a nervous driver or you're nervous about getting in the wheel, the Caravan and Motorhome Club are down here letting you have a test drive round the cones. So it appears this year is not just about the cheap, but it's also about the price increase and the offers. Free power touch mover. I paid £800 for mine to be fitted to my Bailey Phoenix. Where I bought my Bailey Phoenix. So here at Wonder Home, this is your cheapest on the forecourt at 69,870. It's a four berth. This video is not going to be about the absolute cheapest, it's about what, you, what you're going to get for value and money. But this has got a great size garage to put John in. It'd fit perfectly in there and there's even a cubby hole for him to climb through to make me a cuppa and go get the croissants. So here we are, giving you a quick look around. I actually quite like the interiors of this. Nice. <laughs> look at that technology. So this van is 7.1 meters with a rear bathroom. I must admit, if I was gonna change a lane, I'd have a rear bathroom. So great chat with Richard here at Marquis motorhomes now the next cheapest motorhome i'm going to show you around is a six berth and this is exactly what i've got in my lane the eldis this is an eldis but it's the modern equivalent it's a 196 and i've got to say i've had a look around it and it is absolutely lovely i much prefer the kitchen here um as opposed to where mine is so mine is where the sofa is there and marquis are doing a great deal as well this weekend 
So this six birth is 71,437, but the deal they're doing this week is they've got free tracker plus motorhome Wi-Fi and SIM card, a discount. And they, he also mentioned something about the, um, the hab check as well, which is a real deal because I get my hab check via hab check and it was 250 pounds this time. So when I was a child, we used to get an iPad Bradford and we used to get... So here's, here's the Brown Hills 196. Slightly more expensive, I think, than Marcus. But I wonder what... Oh, they've got a Wi-Fi tracker offer. Eldest discount. Also, the two years free mechanical and have uh, servicing on new models. Which you'd like to think would come in with no faults anyway. And it says silver sides are available at no extra cost. I wonder what the benefit of a silver side is. So just asked at the Elvis stand and the, the silver side is purely aesthetical only. Just popped into Quaklin, unfortunately I missed his talk. So here I am and I've found another 196, but I found this is the cheapest so far, 69.489. So just chatting to Amy here at M&C and I think it's quite obvious why it's cheaper because they're not offering any motorhome show deals like the others are, but actually it's cheaper. So like I said, the hab check and the servicing would be on top, but it's certainly not gonna be 2,000 pounds a year more. Now, if your budget will stretch, you've got a fantastic motorhome here, Morello. I was parked next to one of these on a temporary holiday site in Sunderland back in June where they drove a smart car into the back of it. This is the cheapest model here. I'm going to take you inside in a moment. This will set you back 216,000. But look at that. This is better than any hotel I've ever stopped in. <sighs> The best thing about having a van, and I won't put this in the main video, is when it all gets a bit too much, you can just come back to the car park. Whew. I don't know if it's just because I've spent five days by myself and then to go somewhere with lots of people. Um, yeah. I, d I don't know if it's, it's just made me feel really overwhelmed. Um, I've got chatting to a friend in there um, and, and I felt better, but I've come back to the van again and I just feel tearful again. Not, not No reason, no reason other than what, yeah, just people in. Actually, it's really hard to come to these things on your own because, I mean, I was chatting to Pamela at, at Wonder Home, was, was lovely, we had a great chat, she's got a motor home as well, sorry, I'm just having a, a warm one, um, and we were chatting, but I've tried talking to people at stands and they, I think because they're by, they're by yourself, I don't know what's going on with my hair there, um, because you're by yourself, yeah, I don't know, it's probably just all in my head. It's all in my head. Anyway, I'm going to have um, a couple of hours back at the van, just chill out and cool down as well. Get that top window open. The other thing you need to do while you're here is, if you can't afford a motorhome, there's plenty of competitions to win one. Ooh, yes, please. I mean, I've never even thought about camper vans, but if you won one, plenty of room in there for me. The other thing to remember with these shows is they are long, intense days. If you just do a bit of planning, have a look at which talks, where you want to go, um, it's a really good idea. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go to the Inspiration Theatre now to watch Highlands Hammocks. Okay, if we're talking campers, this looks like a decent deal. The after trial, after trial, Expedition 66. Plenty of room. 
but it was also 53,000 on the road. Um, so I was asking the sales guy what was keeping the price down and basically they've taken all the optional extras off so fly screen um so i've been around entered all the competitions that i possibly can to win a camper van motorhome and i've just gone to caravan guard spun the wheel i won an ice scraper got to be in it to win it I just want to start the video by saying a special thank you to a few people who at the time might not have realised it, but just by chatting to me um, made me feel so much better. This week has been such a struggle with my anxiety. And when people meet me um, in real life, they always say, Jo, you're so confident and, and that's why this is so crippling for me. So sadly, I didn't get to meet all and catch up with all the people that I wanted to do. Hello, I'm Jo. Now it's been a tough few years for us all, but throw in my rapidly depleting hormones and you'll soon realise why John packs me off most weekends with a bottle of wine and sends me on my way. But apart from that, I'll take you on lots of adventures and journeys around the UK and Europe. So to join me in the future, remember to hit that subscribe button.